Good morning. Today's gonna be a good day because I get to do one of my favorite things ever, which is crawling around under the house. We had a propane tank set right here outside the kitchen. Um, and since the stove is going to be out away from the wall like this, what we're gonna have to do is, um, Zach dug a little trench there, I'm gonna have to run a line from the tank over. We're gonna have to run it through the, um, concrete block, the foundation, and under the floor, and then we're going to have to drill a hole over here to bring it up behind the stove. So whenever we go to do that, I'm going to have to be under there to turn the tubing and get it up through the hole in the floor. And all that's pretty simple, but what's complicating things a little bit is that we also bought this, um, gas log fireplace to put here in the living room for some supplemental heat because the heat pump is having a very hard time keeping up on the nights that it gets really cold. Anyway, there is actually a fitting, you may have seen it in the video of reading the living room, there is actually a fitting there close to the left side of the chimney. It's just a piece of black pipe black iron pipe sticking up through the floor. Um, and that's fine and all. We found where it comes out um, over in front of the house. But the problem is there's also this piece of tubing sticking out of the interior wall of the kitchen where that um, heater was when we first moved in that we took out. So we are assuming that it's probably hooked into that other line over there and uh, you know since it's just cut off on this end we would either have to cap it here or preferably if it is hooked up over there hopefully we can just unhook it and cap it over there so we don't have this line over here that's not doing anything and creating a potential for problems. So, the first thing I need to do today is crawl under the house to see what's going on, see if they are in fact hooked together, and what we're going to need to do to get that line capped off so we can use the other one part of it. I was hoping that I was going to be able to go through this little trap door that's over in the corner of the mudroom because it's a little bit closer to where I need to go, um, but I don't know if you can tell if there's... I can't really tell if it's rock. It looks like rock on this end, but then over there it looks like concrete and I really don't even know what it's doing. It's about a foot inside the foundation. And in any case, it's too close to the joists for me to get through there. So I can't go that way, but it is good to know right there's where the water line comes in and there's the shutoff valve there. So that's good to know. So since I can't, go in from there I have to go in from over here which is kind of a bummer because this is the absolute furthest point I can get from the place I have to end up and I've been under here before not very far but there is not a lot of room I'm sure I can get over to the middle of the house but then and you can't see it from here I'll be able to see it better once I'm under there but the center beam that runs down through the center of the house is pretty low to the ground so I think I'm gonna have to dig myself a hole to get under to the other half of the house so this could be a fun time. Alright I have crawled um, over to the middle of the house I'm along the back wall you know, where the back door is. Um, this looked like where I was gonna have the most headspace to crawl so that's where I went with but it's still not much room, it's been pretty much belly crawling. Um, there's actually more room here between the beam and the ground than I thought there was going to be, but I did bring along um, this little shovel and hoe that I'll probably try to give myself a little bit more clearance before I try to go through. I 
can actually see a little bit of what I need to see from here on this side of the beam before I go under. I don't know, it doesn't show up in the camera very well, but right there in the middle is um, the piece of tubing that probably comes out in the kitchen, but I'm not exactly sure. On the other end, it looks like it's, um, maybe goes up through the floor in the bedroom, not the living room, so I'm not real sure what's going on there. I'm gonna have to get closer to see. Got a little bit sidetracked over here trying to figure out what was going on over um, by the trap door where I showed earlier and I still don't really know what it is. I'm right here by where the back door would be. Um, and I'm not sure what's going on here. There's this um, stone foundation and it's a square and then there is wood like a box kind of that just goes up to meet the floor of the house. I don't know if it's like an old cistern or well or what's going on but there's that wood all the way around from this side at least um, so I can't see but the wood I would say is maybe four or five feet square and then the steps down <clears throat> there's like two steps of the stone around it and that's probably I don't know eight feet at the base so I'm not sure what's going on there also notice since I can see the under underside of the floor <clears throat> and in this part of the house it's got you know linoleum down and everything it's this narrow wood which makes me think that this part of the house is older than I thought it was I ended up having to go clear back to the beginning and come up the other side of this pipe because I couldn't get across it anywhere. I thought I was going to be able to go around the end of it or that there would be enough room for me to climb over it up here, but there wasn't. So anyway, I had to go clear back to the beginning and climb back to the middle. And now I'm here and was trying to dig myself a spot to get under here, but the more I look at it, the more I'm questioning if I can even get under the living room from here. Because I don't know if it shows up here, but there is, of course, the rock foundation since that whole part of the house was built first. Um, obviously, there must be a way under there because somebody put the plumbing in to begin with. I did get over here where I could see um, how this goes up through the floor closer, so that's good. Um, if it's as much of a pain as I think it's going to be to get to the other end of it, I might end up just trying to... Um, undo that and cap it right there <clears throat> but I don't know if it shows up but clear over in that corner it looks like maybe they pulled a few rocks out and maybe that's how they got there so I guess I'm gonna go back and crawl up along that wall and um, see if I can see anything yeah there's definitely a opening over here so I'm headed towards it not a lot of fun here crawling. I mean, there's no room to crawl up there and down here. It's on such an angle that adds a little bit of a challenge to it. But over here under the bedroom floor, this is like three inch wide boards maybe. So all the way under the kitchen and the mudroom and everything, that's all that really narrow um, stuff like earlier. So, and then this over here is different. And then underneath the bathroom and office area um, was like six or eight inch wide boards so now that makes me think that maybe maybe the living room and the front bedroom were built first and then maybe the whole kitchen mudroom everything was built next and then the this bedroom that I'm under and then the, maybe the bathroom and all that was added on after that and that's the newest part um, could be wrong but just based on the flooring, that's what I'm guessing. Made it through there, so I'm underneath the uh, front bedroom now. Right there is the chimney out there in the middle. And I don't know if it shows up, but I can see the line coming through there, and of course it goes onto the other side of the chimney, because that's where the living room is. Um, it gets pretty tight under here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough room to get over there to where I need to be to see what's going on, but 
I'm going to attempt it. It was very tight, but I did manage to crawl over there, only to find that the line that was already in place was kinked, so we would have to run a new one. It's not the most fun I've ever had. I've been in some pretty tight crawl spaces and stuff before, but that's gotta take the cake. Honestly, that's not the dirtiest I've ever gotten though, so. After drilling the necessary holes, I went under the house again to run the new lines where they needed to be. After that, we could finally hook them into the tank and the appliances. Having the gas logs in the living room has made a huge difference, especially on the nights that it gets really cold. It's also been really nice to have a gas cook stove again.